Good morning to everybody in the Philippines, uh, one of my favorite countries of all time. Love it. So as you know, first of all, you know, I've spent 23 years in the NBA. So, you know, as NBA personnel, you're always constantly watching top talent around the world. So even though that he didn't go to their training camp, they were constantly watching him playing over in Adelaide. And then when he made the transition over to Japan, um, they were continuing to follow him. We had a pro day at Wasserman and uh, we had over 100 uh, front office personnel from uh, GMs to presidents to player personnel directors that were there. Kai, I made sure Kai was there. Uh, he's hard, not hard to miss at seven foot three. <laughs> um, so a lot of the personnel people were there watching uh, our pro day and Kai was there. And again, they're continuing to follow him. So even though he didn't go to Orlando Magic Camp. They continue to follow him overseas. So, again, it was, it's a great, uh, great opportunity for Kai oh, yeah. to represent the flag of Philippines uh, this summer. Which teams also express their interest in having Kai? And uh, why did you eventually choose to go to Orlando? Well, the, the, the teams that he went to expressed the, the heaviest interest yeah. uh, with New York, Utah, and New York. Um, there was also... You know, a couple of their teams reach out. It's 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 a very difficult process. People think you just assume you could just go to the summer leagues. It's it's not that easy as advertised. Um, so again, this opportunity for Kai to put his skills and showcase on the floor in front of there's going to be personnel from every part of the world will be there. Every NBA team will have probably 20 to 30 representatives there. Owners will be there. Um, this is a big opportunity for him to show out. And again, nothing is guaranteed for Kai. He's going to have to go to Orlando. He le leaves June 30th uh, mm -hmm. for medicals, and he starts practice July 2nd. Um, he gets into Vegas either July 5th or 6th, and they start playing right away. And, and again, there will be anywhere between eight to 10,000 people or more at Thomas and Mac watching him and at Cox, it'll be sold out. So again, every time he steps on the floor in practice, every time he steps on the floor for uh, the magic is going to be important for him to showcase his skills. Oh, very, very excited. You know, we work with, uh, you know, East West with Patty Marie and then with us, we help, you know, put this together. And again, it's on Kai to do it on the floor. You know, we've, Held, put him in this position. It's up to him now to to walk on the floor. He's got to play hard every second he's on the floor. He's got to run hard. He's got to rebound. Um, he's going to go against bigger, stronger bodies yeah. that he's not used to. Um, and again, everybody at the summer league, what's their mission and their goal? They want to they want to make a roster either as a two way or a roster spot. So one thing that Kai has, he's got great hand skills. He can catch, he can pass. Incredible passing skills for his size. His foot skills is solid. He needs to play a little harder. Uh, that's something he's going to have to do with the summer league.